Yo, what's going on, MXMA? And today we're going to be covering into a different shotgun overclock for the engineer, which are the mini pellets. So let's get it started. So let's quickly have a look what the mini pellets exactly do. So what the mini mini shells do is they significantly increase magazine ammo capacity because, of course, they're pretty small. You can easily tuck them in your in your pockets, and they provide for less recoil. So what they don't do or what they don't excel at is you lose the stun effect on your target. So for people that don't know what the stun on the shotgun is, whenever you shoot an enem uh, enemy in its weak point, you get a nice little stun buff from time to time. So when you would shoot a Praetorian in its bomb, it won't get stunned. If you would shoot a Glyphit into its face, into its mouth, you would stun it. But you lose that perk here. And then also you have lower damage output. What's important to note here is that the damage output goes per pellet. So the 5 damage is per 1 pellet. And this also explains why you make certain decisions to navigate the lower damage output. So the way I set this up is, I go for the supercharged feed mechanism. For the extra rate of fire, we have lower recoil so we can get a faster rate of firing without suffering problems with the recoil. We don't need the overstuffed magazine, we already have a capacity of 12, which is pretty nice. And after that we go for the loaded shell, so we get two extra pellets in the per shell, so that's like two more pellets, two more ticks of fire damage, which is an extra amount of 10 damage in total. So we get like 50 damage if we land all shots on target. We don't need to expand the ammo bags, or you got 180 ammo because of this overclock. Uh, you could put the choke on it if you really want to, to get a little bit of extra range, but personally I prefer to get the extra pellets in. Then the next up is the quick eje fire ejector, so we reload faster. We don't need the recoil dampener because our recoil is already pretty damn low because of the overclock. And once again, we don't need the uh, high capacity magazine because our magazine size is already 12. So I go for the quick fire ejector. Then after that, I always go for the tungsten coated buckshot on the shotgun. The shotgun doesn't really have any oomph against armor, so when you're not shooting, uh, monsters or mobs into their weak point this helps and helps you strip away their armor so it becomes easier for you to kill them if you're unable to hit that weak point properly alternatively you could go for the bigger pellets but i don't think it's worth compared to the tungsten coated box shot and the last upgrade is always a blind it's it's just straightforward for me is the minus adjustment so it allows you to fully uh allows you to fire fully automatic and also increases your rate of fire significantly so you can fire faster, you can fire full order. And this basically turns this thing into a crowd sweeper. When there's a group of glyphs heading your way, about like 10, 15, you are able to just sweep them from the deck within seconds. That's how strong this overclock is, together with this setup. If you set anything up differently for this overclock, let me know in the comments down below. If you also have like an overclock that you want me to check out next, also let me know because I'm very interested to see what overclocks you guys run. So I'm going to be jumping into some gameplay right now, showcasing this... Uh, the setup for the shotgun. Please stick around for that and catch you guys at the end of the video. There we go, kids. Here we are. Okay, let's go. Um. Yeah, I need to get into the habit of getting the buff beers, even though I'm jumping into the missions like this, so at least I have buffs when going in. I tend to forget about that a little too much, in my opinion, when grabbing the buff beers. I was going to switch players in a bit, chat, get a little different players going. Oh, are they going to be coming out? I guess not, okay. So yeah, we've got to test run this uh, RJ compound as well, see how high we can go. We might have to set up the, the build a little different, but we'll find out how we're going to do that later down the line. Competing up. Good bombers going- ah, uh, of course it lands right on top of me, chat. Okay, so like that kind of works, I guess. I am hearing a mule though, so we're getting close where we gotta be.
Okay, this shit is pretty punk chat. And just like you gotta jump and then. Yeah, yeah so I think we're gonna build this thing like a little a like a little damage, but at the same time more ammo. <laughs> I'm just memeing right now, chat, but this is funny as shit. <laughs> I 100% approve of this, uh, this bill here. It's pretty funny. I don't think it's as good as it's advertised, but it's still, it's still funny. And it does help with, uh... Oh boy. So this is like the, the brick pro of having like extra pellets and having a big magazine size. There we go, took him down just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, we got holy shit. Yes up. We have to, like, test it a bit more and see what kind of things we can do with, uh... With this compound, honestly. Because, shit as shit, it does look promising right now, chat. Let's go reload this bad boy, there we go. Uh, did somebody grab the human out of there? I'm gonna um, guess they did. I'm gonna assume they did, chat. I'm except expecting them to be somewhat competent here. There we go. We get this repaired up it. Yeah, so they deposited the human out. Okay, we got the human out. That's good. I'm trying to like find any like moment we can use this for. Oh boy. They're blowing shit up chat. They're blowing it all up. Oh boy. Okay, so let's see, um... Got like one Apocalypse on us, so there's two more at least. I don't know if anybody else has got an Apocalypse on them, but... Oh, well, you kill it just like that, okay. I'll see Chad, that's been pretty easy so far. It has been pretty easy. Uh, so, yeah, the uplink to mission control is... Right here. Gonna make, like, some sort of roof here, chat. So we can control the flow a little bit better. Like, the flow of the enemies that are coming in. Lost equipment, okay. Lost equipment, let's go check that out. That's always worth checking out. There we go. What we got? Bug hide. Oh, wait, that's actually a pickaxe part that we kind of need still. We don't need this anymore, but we need gold. Uh, 
can we go? Are we, are we good to like start doing these assignments or the, the mission? I think we are, chat. We should be good. Oh yeah, make it rain. I'm really gonna deposit all this shit. Let's get that drop part fixed. There you go. Always deposits on the side of the drop part. Like I feel if we get like a ton of ammo, we can get this uh 40 millimeter build shining pretty much. Maybe if there's like a quick reload on it, that would be useful as well. I don't 100% like the way this is set up right now. I think like this, if you seal it up a little more, so they. Uh, dude, you're blocking me right now. Hold on. Ready. Triangulation initiated. Do not leave the triangulation zone, or we will lose the connection. We only got one shot at this. Am I am I stuck right now? I am. Yeah. yeah I am. That's probably one of the more shitty locations to call in the supply drop and just like start the event without me being able to resupply here. Let's see. I'm, I'm out. There we go. Yeah. So the fire rate is pretty good in this thing. As they expect it to be. I think we can boost ourselves up after this. Oh, oh well, there we go. And jump up and shoot ourselves up. Oh, my. Yo, oh, my shit, it's actually so supplied. Honestly, we're, we're blowing through this pretty easily, chat. Where are the fuel cells gonna drop though? That's the real question. <laughs> it's so fucking me, me chat. It's honestly it's easier to just drop it down like that. Yeah, like people are already thinking the same thing and like just drop it down. Yeah, like this does increase our mobility a lot, which is nice. That's a lot, boys. Uh. Oh, we're good. We're good, chat. Oh, well, we're not good. We're not good. We're not good. I feel that this can also save you if you time it correctly. Like, if you're falling down and you time it correctly, that it shoots you back up, so... I am pretty curious to see if that like compound's gonna save us from like a huge fall at one point in time. Ok, 
guys. Let's see. Um, I'm sending five of us. Jake. Oh, that was that was nice. That was cheeky. Like what we could do is maybe put like a choke on it, but we don't have the really quick reload, which is what shines out. Like you're able to reload so quickly and wipe out waves of enemies so easily with this. Like that group that, oh yeah. But basically if that group of wind still here, we wouldn't have been able to just completely wreck him with this setup. Hello there, kiddos. Honestly, this is so nice. It gives you so much more mobility, which is amazing. Give me those 40 millimeters, boy. Oh. Yeah, like has me mid range. It kind of suffers, but that's fine. So when it comes to mini shells overclock in action, as you can see, it's pretty good at like sweeping bigger crowds. Although, like against like larger mobs, you might have to put more rounds into it because of, like the little reduced damage, and you don't have the stun, unfortunately. If you want like any feedback on this build or like to show off how you make your builds, make sure to leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future content. And lastly, have a great day, and I catch you guys in the next one.